Hi, it's Mrs. Ferris and Lambert from Wood Library, and we're ready for Mother Goose time. So shall we get started? Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and hope that you are too. Well, this morning we're going to have some nursery rhymes, nursery songs, and bounces and stretches. We'll have a story. If you picked up a materials bag from the library, we're going to have some of our rhymes that we're going to use our shaker eggs with. We'll have one or two that we can use our scarves with. Also in your bag, you'll find some bubbles and they're fun to play with your baby. And we also have a cheat sheet of rhymes and songs in case you forget the words. So let's get started. What I usually ask uh, parents to do is have their child on their lap and we'll do each of the rhymes two times. We always clap afterwards for the great job they've done. If it's a clapping rhyme, help your child by clapping or you can clap for them. So let's try with your favorite, right? Ba Ba Black Sheep. Here we go. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Yay! Let's sing it again. Are you ready? I'm going to clap louder this time. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Yay! Well, we're going to do another clapping one. Old King Cole. Well, Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Yay! Let's do that again, Lamb. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Yay! Well, can you grab your shaker? I'm going to put Lambert down so I can shake the eye. And if you don't have a shaker from the library, you can use anything that makes a noise. You could use a baby rattle. You could find a little food container and put some rice or beans in it and close it up tight because it'll make a good sound. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake our egg for each syllable in the words that we're gonna say. And that helps break down the words so your baby or your toddler can hear the individual syllables and sounds and it helps them Learn to recognize language. So, I shake my shaker high. Can you stretch up? I shake my shaker low. Go way down. I shake it in the middle and I hold it just so. I shake it to the left. I shake it to the right. I shake it all around. Can you go around? And then I put it out of sight. And instead of clapping this time, I'm going to shake my egg. Yay! Let's try it again. That also shows us good direction. We're going up and down and left and right. And I don't know when I do this whether my left is your left or not, but from side to side. And then around, it has us holding it still so it's quiet. And we also play peekaboo. We put it out of sight. So here we go. I shake my shaker high, stretch that arm up. I shake my shaker low. 
I shake it in the middle and I hold it just so. I shake it to the left, stretch out. Transfer to the other hand. I shake it to the right. I shake it all around my head and then put it out of sight. Yay! Let's try a couple other ones with it. These are more traditional rhymes. So we'll do one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Yay! Let's try it by putting it in our other hand. And we'll count some more. We count up to 10. Here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Yay! Let's do one more. Tickety, tickety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come here every day to see what my black hen doth lay. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Tickety, tickety, my black hen. Yay! Can we do it one more time? Hickety, pickety, my black hen. She lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come here every day to see what my black hen does lay. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Hickety, pickety, my black hen. Yay! Show me your thumbs or the big person who's there with you. Maybe they can pull up your thumbs so they're standing up. Tommy thumbs up. Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees, and then put them both to bed. Did you hide them? Yes. I, let's do it again. Get your thumbs ready. Tommy thumbs up and Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. I'm going to change it just a little bit. Dance them on your belly. And then put them both to bed. Yay! Well, let's see. I think we're going to have you have your baby or your toddler right up on your lap. So come on up here, Lambert. And he's going to sit on my knees. And I'm going to do Humpty Dumpty. Now, I always like to mention when we have this program at the library, turn your baby around so they're looking at you because one of the things that they learn to read first is your face, and that's why we are so expressive with our faces when we're talking to our babies. But right now, they may want to look, look at the TV or the computer screen, wherever you're watching this. And when we have this program at the library, they love to look at the other babies. So whichever way your child is comfortable is fine. But if it's just the two of you alone, have some special time one-on-one -on -one like that. But I'm going to have this, him turn around so he can see you. We're going to go, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Let him go right down to the floor. And then all the king's horses and all the king's men 
couldn't put Humpty together again. And even though it's terrible to do it, we're gonna go yay. Yay! <clears throat> Climb up again, will you? Okay. You wanna turn around this time? Sure, you can turn around, I'll look at you. All right. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And we clap. Yay! And let's do a little upper body workout for her, the big person in this. Let's turn around. Okay, we're going to go. Leg over leg, as the dog went to Dover, when he came to a stile, jump, he went over. Yay! A stile is the cross piece on a fence, so this little dog is jumping over the fence. Let's do it again. Leg over leg, as the dog went to Dover, when he came to a stile, jump, he went over. Yay! Well, this is a popular one, I remember. We're gonna do a little riding, so. Well, this is the way the farmer rides. A jiggity jog, a jiggity jog. From side to side like that. This is the way the lady rides. We're gonna go up and down. A prince, a prince, a prince, a prince. And this is the way the gentleman rides. Let's wait just a second before we do it, right? A gallop, 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 whoa! Yay! Do you wanna go riding one more time? Here we go. Well, this is the way the farmer rides, a jiggity jog, a jiggity jog. This is the way the lady rides, a prince, a prince, a prince, a prince. And this is the way the gentleman rides. A gallop, 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 whoa! Yay! Let's do another one where we can lift them up a little bit, or you can have them stretch, whichever is easier. If they're getting to be too big to be lifting up like this, then just stretch their arms up is fine. I'm gonna put Lambert up a little bit. Oh, the noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. I'm gonna put his arms up a little. He marched them up to the top of the hill. So either lift them up or just stretch their arms up. And he marched them down again. For when they were up, they were up. Stretch. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yay. Let's try it again. When we do this at the library for the older kids, we do it three times, three different verses, and we speed it up a little bit. But at this level, I think we'll just keep it at this pace. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. For when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yay! And let's see what I think I had. Let's do. You can get out your scarf. And if you don't have a scarf from the library, you can use any kind of scarf. You could use a Kleenex or a paper towel, just something that you can cover up their face and play peekaboo. These are nice because you can see right through them and they won't get scared, but I don't know that they would get scared with you doing it either. But. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put that right over your face. Can you do that? Where is baby? And then lift it up. <gasps> peekaboo. Where is baby? <gasps> peekaboo. Where is baby? Peekaboo. That's how we play peekaboo. 
Yay! Do you want to do it again? Lambert does. Do you want to do it again? Cover up. Or you could do it this way. If they're not happy having it on them, you can put it on you. Where is mommy? Peekaboo. Where is mommy? Peekaboo. Where is mommy? Peekaboo. That's how we play peekaboo. Yay! And you can also put it over a stuffed animal of theirs so that if they're not comfortable having the scarf over themselves, something that they enjoy looking at, like you, or one of their favorite toys. Well, let's see here. Let's do one more bounce, and then we're going to have our book. Well, bounce me, bounce me on your knees. Bounce me, bounce me, pretty please. Bounce me here, leaning to one side. And bounce me there. And bounce me, bounce me everywhere. Yay! All right, let's do it again. Bounce me, bounce me on your knees. Bounce me, bounce me, if you please. Bounce me here. And bounce me there. And bounce me, bounce me everywhere. Yay! All right, Lambert, I think we need to have our storybook. And today we're gonna to be having the book Toot Toot Beep Beep by Emma Garcia. And it's a fun one because it's all kinds of sounds that different vehicles meet. And they're easy words for children to repeat. So let's get started. This is published by Boxer Books. You can see all the signs. And there's a signal light. What color is at the top of the signal light? That's red. That means stop. And the color in the middle is yellow. That means be careful. And then green means go. Look at all this traffic. You know what we could do? We could count the tr all of the cars and trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of traffic. The cars go up and down in and out and round and round all day long. Beep, beep goes the little red Jeep and off he zooms. Zoom. Vroom, vroom goes the sleek black sports car and off he speeds. goes the big blue van, and off she trundles. Toot, toot. Honk, honk, goes the yellow city taxi, and off he rushes. Whoosh, whoosh, goes the long pink limousine, and off she glides. Chugga chugga goes the old green camper van and off he rolls. Brum, brum goes the tiny purple car and off she hurdles. Oh my goodness, and there are all the sounds. Can we say them again? Beep, beep. Vroom, vroom. Toot, toot. Honk, honk. Whoosh, whoosh. Chugga chugga. Vroom, vroom. What a lot of noise. What a lot of fun. I like this book because it does colors. It names the different vehicles and everyone has a different color and different sound. So it's a fun one to try. All right, well, those are our stories. 
and our rhyme, so I think it's time for us to do our one last closing rhyme. Can you clap? Fee, fi, fo, fum. See my fingers, see my thumbs. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Goodbye, fingers. Goodbye, thumbs. Yay! And let's do it one more time, and then we'll really say goodbye. So, fee, fi, fo, fum. See my fingers. Where are your fingers? See my thumbs. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Goodbye, fingers. Goodbye, thumbs. And Lambert, are you ready to say goodbye? Thank you so much for tuning in for Mother Goose Time at Home, and we hope we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.